Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and we are here with episode 6 of Grand Theft Auto 4. In the previous episode, we started up with our second set of flying rats. We then, um, was it? we spoke to Brian Meach for the second time, uh, we dropped him off at a drug deal kind of scenario. And um, we then took Roman for a game of pool, which we beat him quite easily because he's an idiot. <laughs> And uh, following that, we completed our last job for Vlad, which had us going to supposedly take out Ivan, who is his old friend, but uh, we let him go in the hopes that we will meet him again in the future for his random cra random character encounter. And we finished off by then taking care of Vlad himself, um, because he was cheating, well, he was um, having an affair with Mallory. And nobody fucks with family, as Nico put quite eloquently. Um, so, obviously, this episode is the Stone Drum episode, which I've already pre-recorded. So, I'm just going to edit in the six next, the next six stunt jumps here. So, I will see you guys when we're done. Okay, now um, we're going to go on what should be, I believe, um, I mean we're at 89% fondness, but I believe this may be our last date with Michelle. Hi Michelle, listen, do you want to go out? Yes, I'm not doing anything interesting, pick me up in an hour. Great news. I'm going to pick you up in three bloody seconds. Um, now I'm gonna, this is going to be a quick one, uh, just because we don't need to actually improve it too quickly. Oh, come on. <laughs> hey, hey, nice bike, by the way. Thank you. So it's Michelle somewhere she would enjoy. So obviously, um, we're going to just take her to the bar this time. I'm not going to take her, uh, like, is it dance? I think it's where we took her. And um, it's not quite the same in terms of percentage. Uh. I think uh, Dance was 80%. This is 70%, so it's still very good. I remember. So, thanks for taking me out again. No problem. Yeah, I've never dated a foreign guy before. A lot from another planet, but none from another country. Okay. Tell me about yourself. Tell me about Nico Bellic. There is not much to tell. I just moved here. I know. And you live with your cousin. What do you guys do? I don't have regular work yet. So, what did you do in Europe? I worked in tourism. In travel industry. Did you fight in the war? Sure. How was that? How do you think it was? Seeing your friends die? Seeing men have their legs blown off? It was... It was... It ruined me. I'm so sorry. Me too. You may be here, things will be different. Uh, yeah. But then I'm sure this will get us the 11% that we need to get up to 100%. And then we're just going to leave 
dating, not doing it like um, with the friends. We're going to do every activity. Um, I don't think we think we can do darts. Okay. All right, uh, we smashed. Say you're sorry. Michelle appears to be fine. So we can't hold our drink apparently. She's not saying anything at all. That's funny. Um, probably call a cab. Uh, forgot which button it is. <laughs> oh dear. Oh. Sobering up. Oh shit, did she just get hit? There we go. Uh, Alright. It only costs us a couple of bucks, it doesn't matter. Where so to? can you take me to Mohawk Avenue, yes? Alright then, let's this do it. This isn't fun! <laughs> well, this is my family back, I'm drunk. Okay? I can't believe this! Alright, shut up. Can I come in? Sure. I like you. But let's be careful. Make sure no one gets burned. Great. Okay. Make sure no one gets burned. That's uh, some solid advice. So this should be everything we need, I think. Great, Nico Bellic. You're great. Oh, Nico. I really like you. Oh, tell me. Me. Yeah, we got that impression. Alright, um, let's have a look at our stats then. Um, let's see. Shell fire 100%. There we go. Boom. That's the end of that chapter. Alright. Um, excuse me. Pardon me. So instead of the um, dates with Michelle now, we're just going to do an activity every episode with friends until we um, get our next girlfriend at least. Uh, so it will be Roman next time, then Roman the time after, and consistently until we finish with him, and then it'll probably by the time we're done with Rome, we'll, we'll be on to level Jacob. So yeah, that's pretty good. All right, now of course this is the point where we should be doing our Roman taxi missions, but as we found out at the end of last episode, because of the fact that we're in a sort of mini limbo in terms of uh, Roman is currently inaccessible to us, uh, we have to do the next few missions. So is what we are going to do. Um, Maybe I'll do it at the end of the episode, I'm not too sure yet, but for now, we're just going to head into the next mission, which is Crime and Punishment. So I have to get it started. Where are you, Roman? Psst, Nico! <laughs> Roman, what are you doing in the dumpster, man? Are they there? What are you talking about? Get out of there, man! I'm freaking out, man! I'm being followed! I saw them! Don't be ridiculous, you're being paranoid! I'm be... Fuck you! Fuck you! Everything was fine, and then you show up, and now we're dead! Because Felston is a psychopath, he's going to kill us! Because we killed Vlad! Vlad was his man, that's how it works! You kill their guy, they kill you! Roman, get out of there, man! Listen to me, Vlad was a piece of trash! They don't care about him! All they care about is making money! So, we say we work for them! Now get out of there, you smell like cabbage. I don't want to, man. I'm shitting myself. Oh! Get out of the dumpster, Mr. Fat Man. Come on, Fatty. The boss wants a little chat. Uh, uh. Uh -oh. 
wake up! We had to gag him to stop the screaming. You shouldn't have brought them here, Andre. Why not? You've been a bad boy, Mr. Balkan. And the boss is not happy. Oh, no. I shit my pants. Not yet, but you will. Who are you working for? Uh, my cousin, Roman. <laughs> Don't be an idiot. That's not good enough. I'm gonna saw off your fucking arm. Speak! Okay, okay. Your dad likes it up the ass. What do you want me to say, huh? <laughs> Very funny. Do you think you're so smart? No! I'm tied up in the basement a long way from home, but some ape threatens me with a hacksaw. So no, I'm not that smart. Shut the fuck up! My fucking wife is watching television! <laughs> Good Lord, what are you doing? Nothing. Uh, I mean, uh, I was finding out who he is. And who is he? He is his cousin. You were about to cut up some guy in my house, making all that noise to find out he's his cousin. Where did you find this idiot? He was a friend of your sergeant when we were in Vladivostok. He's an imbecile. So, Nico Belli. You think it's okay to kill my employees? If he is an asshole, yes. Do it! Oh. I agree. Real! <laughs> asshole, look at me like I'm a piece of shit. Bozomoy. <laughs> now listen, Nico Belli. You are very lucky what was an idiot. The only reason I keep him around is because I fucked his sister. Look at me. You owe me. I got some digheads in my neighborhood. Trying to run a shipment, yeah? And we found a buyer for the TVs. Yes, a buyer. But you've got to get them for us so we can make the sale. Can you untie Roman? Хорошо. Help! Shut up, Roman. Shut up! Roman, shut up! Shut him up! Shut up, Roman! Shut up! That's it! Roman, shut up! Fuck! Shut up! Stop shooting people, you maniac! My wife doesn't like when people shout! Whatever! You better get those screens soon! Or I will personally pull your cousin's stitches out! One by one, and watch his gut spill onto the floor! Clean this shit up! Listen, we'll take care of your cousin, but you better get the police car. And then you call me! Roman! Roman! Go! 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 I, I'll take care of him! Fuck! That was a bit rude, wasn't it? Found a cop car. Alright. Um, I do believe, I'm not mistaken, one comes to us. Yeah. Almost as if fate itself was responsible. Alright, come on. No, no, no. I'm gonna park up. What are you parking all the way down there for? Right, you go and deal with that. Whatever that situation is. Just need to borrow this for the time being. I hear the police car. What now? The van is driving around South Broker. Pull it over, take it to our lockup on Duke's Drive. Be more specific. How many vans do you think there are in South Broker? That is a problem for you and your cousin, not me. Keep pulling vans over until you find the TVs. Goodbye. Alright, I'll find a pull over the vans before they reach their destinations. Uh, who's closest? Alright, we've got one uh, coming up on the next street. Uh, pretty sure this is just one of those scenarios where it doesn't matter uh, which one you get out to last that will always be the one. Right, come on. You got it? Get the fuck out of here! I ain't got nothing, you wasting your time! Show me the bag. You carrying TVs? <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. Man, get out of here. <laughs> okay, well. 
It's one down. Right, out of the fucking way. Jesus Christ. Right, who next? Um, right, we'll take a left as soon as we can. Not over the bridge, obviously. So, yeah, that's, uh, as I said last time, um, we're now working for Mikhail Faustin, who is the angry dude. Uh, the other dude is Dmitry Raskolov, the karma one, I think. Um, hold on, let's see where we're going. Right, it seems we're on this main road down here. Come on. Pull over. Give me the TVs. Alright, you. What do you got? What do you got for me? Get out of there, you're fucking dead. Don't kill me, man. I'll show you. Show me you don't got any flat screens in the back. It's empty. Nishta, yeah, we got. Yep. Third time's the charm. Where to go? <laughs> I was going to get mad then. Uh, where's my police car? Alright. So. Uh, it's just down the hill it seems. No problem. We'll grab this one. So we're going to get it. Pull it over. And take it back. To the, to, uh, the troublesome two. Well, for God's sake, it's on the main road. Now, why would you do that? Why would you do me like that? You dupe me, you don't dupe me. Alright, I've got to go all the way back down this way just to get back up to the normal level, which is fan freaking tastic. Oh, don't crash. No, oh. <sighs> Handling of these, some of these vehicles is just really bad. They're very slow to respond. Um, we're just going to kind of make our way towards it, I guess. Um, right, okay. I think I've got a strategy. And this way. And then this way. So then if we, if the car knocks us of course, that was what I wanted. Where the hell are you going? Come back here. There you are. Aha, see, I can see him. I can see those flat screens. Get out with no funny business. I wouldn't do this. Kenny Petrovic is looking after this truck. Are you carrying a shipment of TVs? This is a big screw up. You ain't taking these. Jesus, guy's tough. I'll have that, thank you. Alright, we got our van. We drove to a lock up. Which we just happen to automatically know. Uh, where is it? It's not too far off. Locally, locally. Oh, no, no. Call Dimitri, let him know that we've got, got, the, got the TVs. Oh, okay. Fine, we'll just leave it as a little Christmas surprise then, shall we? It's not. It's, well, I was gonna say it's not smashing to everything. Move. Okay. Yeah, as I said, this one was a uh, pretty long, so it's probably it's a good job that we didn't do it last time. That's would have gone way over time. Okay. I think that should be it.
Cool. I'm going to need a, a car. Can you get out of the car? Can you get out of the car, please? Thank you. I've left the van when you say. How's Roman? He's okay. A little scarred, but okay. You did good. Mikhail needs someone like you. Stop by and see him sometime. Alright. Um. I don't know if anyone else has got any interruptions and stuff. No, Dimitri doesn't. Uh, Faustin. You probably should, I think that opens up the next mission. Hello, yeah. Okay, you're gonna leave me in a limbo. Don't know if little Jacob, maybe. No. And I'm just driving erratically. Uh, so Roman, you're my last hope. Help me, Roman. You're my only hope. Nico, hello. There we go. Roman, are you all right? I was just shot in the stomach, and then stitched up in the doctor's office that was dirtier than the basement we were nearly tortured in. I'm oh, great. You sound calm, actually. That Dimitri guy gave me some pain killer. I'm kind of out of it. If you're near a shop, can you pick up some adult diapers for me? See you later. Alright, yeah, there we go, that opens up the next mission. Um, now, as it seems, we still can't do jobs for Roman yet, so I think we're just going to do missions until we can get that back up, because that's something I want to get working on ASAP, and actually we don't have anything else to do other than flying rats and stunt jumps and all that malarkey. We could have could take Roman out um, to do activities whilst he's like this, just like off his head on drugs. But okay. Back up. Alright, calm your ass, calm your ass. Look, look, let's put the pistol away, please. We have... Do you have protection? Hey, Nico. Hey. Come in. Thank you. Lay off that stuff. Why? Because it clouds your judgment. Not now, it's not the time. Uh, my judgment. <laughs> That's a good one. I'm a fool. A drunken fool. Nico's here. We're going to go take care of that guy. I take it you won't be joining us? Make him suffer. People forget pain so quickly. You need to calm down with that stuff. Calm? Why? So I can be like you, Mr. Babichit? Always so fucked up on painkillers? You don't give a shit? You need to calm down. <laughs> Where would we be now if I was calm like you? Let me guess. In a prison camp in Siberia, or selling hash to tourists in Red Square, or still in the Navy. Which is it today? Be careful, Dimitri. Be fucking careful. You be careful. You're getting crazy. That's the way it works. I am angry. You are calm. I scare you reason. It works. Yes, but you've angered the wrong people. Blah, blah, too many blah, bodies, blah, too blah, much blah, attention blah, 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 will be dealt with if we don't start playing by the rules. I've angered people. Me? Not we. Strange. When I give out the money, it's us. When I have to push people, it's me. All alone. Don't think I cannot see through you. After all we've done together. You're getting delusional. Look, we have to go. I fucking love you. Yes, yes. I fucking love you. I know. Yeah. Yes. But you treat me like a child. I run things my way. Dimitri Raskolov. My fucking way! Get out of my sight! 
or I fucking kill you. I'm not saying don't run things your way. I'm saying be calm. Here, take a couple of these. What are you still doing here? I said get out of my side! Alright, take the meet to the sex shop on Delaware Avenue, as you do. A very typical objective in a Grand Theft Auto game. We're going to that sex shop on Hawk Beach. Alrighty. This guy been making porno in his basement, and he didn't cut Mikhail in. At least he could have done it, sent over some tape. <laughs> you know how much money there is in selling this stuff online? A whole fucking heap. We're going to ignore what Mikhail said, and try not to kill them. Taking a bite of this pie would be very profitable for our operation. I got no problem with sparing some lives. No, it's Mikhail that has that issue. Can't keep his finger off of the triggers. Wasn't always like this, though. Things got to him. I hope it don't get to me. Alrighty. This is a relatively simple one. Yep, thank you. <laughs> Enter the shop. Right, into this cheeky little sex dungeon, as you do. Where's your boss? What do you mean? He's, uh... In the back? No, 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 he's... You better not be filming. Uh, no, they're just having a meeting, I swear. Get out of the way! <clears throat> Fuck. You see? They don't make them like that no more. That's a vintage bush. If it wasn't for that, I'd say this weren't worth transferring to DVD. Hey, Joseph! You think you can expand your business interests, make these pornos and sell them? Whoa, and whoa, we won't whoa. know about it, we huh? We'll just wait until the uh, books was closed at the end uh, of the financial year. Then we was gonna cut you Your in. books are closed until you pay us our cut. Nico, take this and cover Joseph. Alright. We ain't making that much cash. It's not the f Listen, big guy, you got a great look going on. Real strong. We can push on one of our films. Shoot this scumbag in the lake. Hey, man, please. <laughs> all right, all right already. Brett was just trying to be friendly. Shit, he'll be out of action for a couple of weeks. You got some money for Mr. Faustin? Fine, here you go. We ain't gonna have the... You should have <laughs> thought of that earlier. Please don't hurt me. I'm an actor. This is a mess. Let's get out of here. Alright. At ease, at ease. I'll let me out of the shop. And we're going to an alleyway off of Dillon Street in Shopwell. Don't you? Go to meet you to the gun shop. Make a U-turn, we're safe. Please proceed to highlighted route. Calculating route. I want to buy you a present. Will you wrap it up and put a pretty bow on it? <laughs> Screw you! We're seeing a friend of mine who's got a good line on weapons. It's on the ground, a back room place. There are a few around the city. The mayor has a real hard on for gun control. Guns don't seem that controlled. I seen plenty and I just got here. And now you'll know where to get them for yourself. What's the problem? Mikhail, I know that you don't have to do this. in I didn't kill Joseph. We will make more money with him alive. Chuck, Mikhail! Mikhail! Fuck! You're lucky Ramadan tried to make you kill someone every two seconds. <laughs> Alright. We're here. I'd like some weapons, please. The shop is just down that alleyway. Pick up what you like. Tell them to put it on Mr. Faustin's account. Alright. You can buy weapons from various gun stores throughout Liberty City. All right. Walk up to each weapon to see which is currently available. I could be a cop. New stock is always being added, so if you don't see something you need now, come back later. Yeah, obviously you can get all of the weapons and stuff from the start of the game. So I'm just going to purchase this micro SMG for the fact that we've already got it. So I'll just buy him. I'm a. You fucking Ruskies are mucking me dry. I ain't a cow. I ain't Russian. Alright, so obviously um, that's not available to us. Either is that. I don't think any of these are. Not even, not even a baseball bat. Uh, 
funny where you're from. A freak can buy like armor, but I don't need it yet. So I want to spend half of everything that I've What's made so far in the okay? game on some armor. I'm just checking all these stuff. Can be tits. Alright, uh, where are we going? This way. Drive us to Mr. Faustin. Okay, we'll drive us to Mr. Faustin. Get in the gear. So, you and Mr. Faustin, have you always argued and made up like this? It wasn't always like this. Mikhail was a great man. He had a temper, but he was fair. Now he blows his top at the slightest thing. I never know who he will shoot, who he will stab. Andre, who you met in Mikhail's basement. He was always loyal. He was a good worker. Now he's dead. I guess that, that is why we need your help. Remind Faustin of that. Maybe then he will not try to kill me. Yeah. Alright. Uh, I think we'll have to wrap up after this one. Alright, I'm turning left. Yeah, so it's not too bad, obviously. It's a bit less productive than usual because we did the exact same amount minus the Romans missions. But these two are um, a little longer. The bit still tutorial -y, but not too much. Thank you for your help, Nico. Come to see us at the club soon. Mikhail will be cool by then. Alright. There you go. And boom. Well then, so um, that fires up the Little Jacob mission as well, uh, which will be Shadow. <coughs> so um, we'll definitely get that one done, that's going to open up a lot more opportunities for us. Um, let's just see if Carl and anybody makes a difference as we make our way back to the, to the safe house. No. Uh, focusing? No. LJ. Nope. Uh, I'm going to call him Michelle. Roman. Uh, yeah, he must be fine now. We've got his job option back. Let's just see how he's doing. Might be able to call him up. Nope. We could do a job for him, which is all that matters. So we'll, um. Oh, we'll not pick up on that next time, I don't think. Um. Next time will be business as usual, flying rats, um, rum activity, and uh, our third encounter with, well, our final encounter with Brian Meech, I should add. Uh, so let's just save the game. Then we'll get up to business as usual in episode 8. Alright, so let's just save that one. All with the stunt jumps. A quick browse of our stats, and everything will be cool beans. So, general, we're at 14.22% of the way through the game. I've done 15 missions. Uh, let's have a look. Addiction level coming up still. Um, let's see, yeah, Faust mission progress, we're at 28.57%. Um, so, let's just. So, through one mission, does that mean. I'm not sure how much that means, to be honest. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, some jumps found and completed are at 12 now, so I thought the end of a 6. Um, added. Um, we are at 100% fondness for Michelle now, so we can give that up. We don't need to do that anymore. Um, let's see. We've done any uh, mini games today, have we? So it doesn't matter. Uh, just checking. No, we've not done any of these today, have we? Miscellaneous. Uh, successful dates three. <laughs> okay. Uh, Cutscenes watched twenty, and that should be it, shouldn't it? All right, very good. So, as I said, the next episode we will start off by taking out the next ten flying rats. We will meet up with uh, Brian another time. We'll go out with Roman. We'll probably do darts. I think is the next one that we are due, and then we'll continue to do some work for Faustin and Little Jacob. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and also be sure to share the video. And I'll see you guys in episode seven. Bye, guys.